Here are the best lines from the episode. Do you have any idea what our electric bill is? Yes, I do our taxes. And it's higher than it should be. Well, decide what you want, then open it. But I need the visual input. Does the pudding have a skin? Plus, it's good fun jiggling the jello. Well, there's fossil fuels, like oil and coal. Too dirty. Uh, hydro. Too wet. Solar. With this fair skin? Next. What do you want? I just wanted to apologize again. My behavior was crazy. I blame hormones. Really? Because I blame you. Your brother looks upset. Really? I would have guessed hungry. See you later. I'm curious about more cost-effective methods of generating electricity. And? And I came to you. Go. Well, will there be food? I have no idea. What's the dress code? Not a clue. Well, what do you know? You're my plus one. I'm going to hang up now because this is long distance and my father doesn't make much money. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is everybody at this party going to be a scientist like you? Not everybody. You'll be there. That's kind of what I'm getting at. I'll get it. Like dating the Encyclopedia Britannica. He's probably curled up in a ball crying about Veronica. Why do you say that? It's just what I'm hearing. From who? I'm kind of plugged into this town. Is he taller than me? It doesn't matter. It's what's inside a person that counts. How much taller? A lot. Dad, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think I solved our electricity problem. Not now, Sheldon. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Who? If you want, I'll ask around. My love is the kind of love that is true love. The kind that lovers feel when they're in love. Husband of your dreams. Loving you with my heart, my soul, and my lips. Hello, Billy. What you doing? Building a nuclear reactor. Cool. I'm having Lucky Charms for dinner. Why are you eating cereal for dinner? I was hungry. And my parents are in their bedroom kissing. And our relationship is more than just friends. That's enough. In fact, it's flat out erotic. Well, I'd like to speak to Arthur Jeffries. He plays Professor Proton. But you probably know that since you answer the phone at the station that makes the show, you lucky duck. 